Hello everybody and today we're going to be talking about Minecraft's updated guidelines. If you enjoy this type of content make sure to subscribe. Now on to the discussion. Okay so the question is why am I talking about Minecraft and their updated guidelines? Well the reason is I'm going to go through some of the topics that I read through the article and stuff and some of them are good some of them are bad. So decide for yourself. So for the first topic of this video, Mojang is going to be a lot more stricter about promoting yourself and your products and services on the game Minecraft and using it to forward your stuff, which I don't know if that's good or bad for content creators because people make merch and sometimes they're very similar to Minecraft, but not exactly. So I don't know where that's going to fall in the future. We'll just see, I guess. Topic two, the um, I'm gonna leave the link in the description of the updated guidelines, but the page is supposed to change over time, so keep an eye on the page, I guess. Topic three, Mojang doesn't really want you to use Minecraft as the first word in like your video titles, and also as keywords. It's a little difficult because like, what are they gonna do if you do? But they really just don't want that for some reason, which I find dumb. Topic four is that Mojang doesn't want you to have to pay to watch any Minecraft content, aka like memberships, because you know on YouTube you have memberships and you can watch videos that other people can't without having the membership and stuff. So I don't know what's going to happen to those, but Mojang really just doesn't like the idea of having membership videos. So yeah. So the fifth topic is Minecraft doesn't want you to make any big conventions. Like you can have like hangouts with like a small group of people, but they don't want you renting like a big building, getting a bunch of people, getting a projector and everything, having you pay for it. They don't want that for some reason, even though they did slow down on mine cons and stuff recently. They just don't want that. Okay, the sixth topic is about cracked servers. Mojang wants you obviously to pay for the Minecraft game because then they get money and you get their game and it's not like technically piracy and stuff. But Mojang might be starting to crack down on cracked servers that exist. So if you have a cracked account, I don't know how that stuff works that might be connected to your IP and stuff. Those might disappear in the future. Okay, seventh uh, major point in the uh, guidelines article is cosmetics for clients mojang is fine with it just as long as they're not trying to scam people into getting oh but you're getting the minecraft minecon 2027 cape or something and you know they just don't want that they're fine if you get like pets and stuff so lunar bad lion and feather those are the three ones that i can think of off the top of my head they'll be totally fine and non-affected by their guidelines but they also want to make sure that there's no unfair advantages in every client i think that's what they said because they said they don't want unfair advantages. So they might be going down on hack clients and also they might just be looking at like Lunar and Bad Lion and Feather, you know, a little bit more closely to see if there's any unfair advantages or not. Okay, this is the last topic I'm going to cover. It doesn't really affect too many people besides those Amazon sellers who make Minecraft books. Mojang doesn't want unofficial books. I kind of get that because they have their own writing department. They write their own books and stuff. So direct competition of their own IP. But um, to those who make Minecraft books, just a warning, they might be cracking down on those soon. Hope you all enjoyed the video and this cleared things up for people. Uh, like and subscribe. Comment down below what you think. Like, um, are these changes justified or not? Like, give me your ideas and bye.